We're growing it all out. Hillary Burton Morgan is loving her hair exactly as is. When the One Tree Hill alum joined the latest episode of The View, she opened up about embracing her gray tresses. Hillary said that she was in the midst of phasing out her blonde color and going totally gray, and she explained her mindset behind it, sharing how it was all about the joy of aging. It's a weird thing when you were a teen drama actress, and it's a, oh. you know, the expectation to be 17 forever yeah. is out yeah. there, yeah. and I didn't yeah. necessarily like my younger years. I felt I yeah. dealt with some dark stuff in my younger years, mm. and so this idea that you can level up and get to a place yeah. where you're the salty one in the room was exciting to me. The author went on to share how she's always looked up to older women. My heroes were B. Arthur and Ruth Gordon and Betty White. Like, yeah. That's who I wanted to be, and so going great early has been well, you're like on a trend because a lot of women are doing it. Yeah. Well, good. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to take over the world. Hillary recently reflected more on her hair journey in an essay for New Beauty magazine, and shared how her husband Jeffrey Dean Morgan's own experience going gray offered some inspiration. She wrote in part, "I'd seen my husband slip into silver fox territory with nothing but glowing adoration from fans and media alike. His silver made him better in their eyes. His age was an asset that made him respectable." I wanted that, so I let it go, all of it. The idea of trying to hold on to a youthful version of myself didn't make any sense. I wasn't respected in my youth. It wasn't some golden era of my life. It was trial and error, and more error. It was experimentation. Hillary continued, as my silver grew in, I liked how I looked, perhaps for the first time. I liked what it did to my eyes and skin tone. I liked other women reaching out, pleased to have someone to virtually hold hands with as they shed their own dye. I liked that I was free. And so, I don't begrudge anyone hanging on to their version of beauty, even if it's fabricated youth. But my version of beauty is the power of this next phase, what comes after youth. More pleasure, less pleasing, freedom.